What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. Super busy day, I wanna bring you guys along with me. I'm also gonna go over what are realtor designations and why are they important? Stay tuned. So our first stop this morning is out here in Santee. If you guys remember a day in the life of a realtor vlog I did a few weeks ago, this was the property I was talking about. So we were in the process of selling it to an investor. Um, it was a super delicate deal, but thankfully that's been done with and the renovations have started on Monday. Actually, they just started two days ago. Um, I took a look inside the house. The house is completely gutted. Uh, if you remember that video, the weeds were about this high. That's been flattened out. I'm super ecstatic to bring it to market in about uh, five to six weeks. So it does take a little bit of while to, uh, for all the renovations to be done. And I plan to come here once a week, uh, get some footage, and then once it's all said and done, I'm gonna show you guys the before and after. But if you guys don't remember the house, what it looked like before we sold it, here's a quick video. Terrible, right? I know, the house looks nothing like that right now. It is completely gutted, and I can guarantee you it'll look nothing like that once it's all said and done. Uh, like I said, I'm super pumped about this project. It's the first time I actually uh, am, I am involved in a flip, which I am learning so much from the little details to the bigger picture and why things are done the way they are. Uh, but anyways, right now I'm headed to Chula Vista. I'm gonna go show property to a client who's interested in buying a house in Rancho del Rey. I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get because they are tenants currently living there, but I'll try and sneak in a, a quick video for you guys. I got the sunset in my pocket and I'm not afraid to use it. Now I'm feeling superhuman. That's the point of the illusion. Pulling up here in Rancho Del Rey, pulling up here to the property, uh, super nice community. This property is actually off market, so it hasn't even hit the MLS, um, and I don't, I don't think it's actually ever going to hit the MLS. That they're offering it uh, as a pocket listing. So obviously, the approach to uh, an off market property is very different versus uh, when the property is currently on the MLS. But it should be this one right here. Let me show it to you. This is it right here. So we're gonna go in. We're I'm still waiting for my client. It's probably another uh, 10, 15 minutes till, till he arrives. All right, guys, that was it. Um, sorry I couldn't record. Uh, I am recording from my phone right now. I was in there. Uh, the family was there, so I wasn't gonna bust out my phone and start recording. But uh, I'm headed right now over to the SDAR, uh, which is the San Diego Association for Realtors. And that's where I'm gonna take a course uh, for a designation and as soon as I'm done with that I'll explain and go over what a designation is why they're important why they won't just benefit the uh, the realtor but all of his clients as well so let's head on over there <laughs> Starbucks do you know what I'm gonna get started for you today uh, yes may I get a large pike with uh, one and a half raw sugars and a splash of half and half Thank you. Thanks. back here in the office. I just got back from SDAR and I took a class on creative ways to market your listing. That was a lot of fun. I have to go back there again tomorrow for the second part of the class. But today we're going to talk about real estate designations. What are they? Uh, are they important? And should your realtor, if you are a real estate agent, have one? And the answer to those questions is yes, 100%. You're probably wondering whenever a realtor hands you their card, what's this alphabetical soup acronym right next to your name? So what that is, is it's a designation. Each designation or each acronym stands for something different. The best way to put it is, think of it this way. It, a real estate license, it's like a bachelor's degree. 
and a real estate designation is like a master's degree. Each designation means something different. There's ABR, SFR, ALHS, uh, SRS, there's a ton of them. I could go through a whole list, but I'd be here all day. Right now, the one I'm currently working on is SFR, which is Short Sale and Foreclosure Resource. Not to scare anyone, we're not going into a foreclosure market, but if we were to go into a foreclosure or short sale and foreclosure market, um, I, I can be prepared for it and be able to shift when the market shifts. Another one that I have is ALHS, which is Accredited Luxury Home Specialist. Uh, so whenever I, I have uh, a luxury client, I can better serve them. Like I said, the one I'm currently working on and I'll show you is SFR. This is what it looks like. I am taking this one online and this is Short Center for Closure Resource. So this one is a six hour course. There's some that are six hours, 12 hours, some that are two, three days. This one, unfortunately, I wasn't able to take it um, in person because they didn't offer it in person, but there's most of them do offer a uh, in-person class where you can go, go in and sit down. And I think those are the best ones because you're kind of, you know, you have a teacher and you're face to face and nothing can distract you. In, in a short run, that's what a designation is. We are right now in San Diego. So having an M MRP designation is great. And I think that after this one, I think that's, that's the next one that I will take. MRP stands for Military Relocation Professional. Um, we do have a lot of VA buyers here. So um, being able to better serve them uh, will help my career a lot. I take being a real estate agent extremely serious. Um, and I, I don't look at it as a job. I really look at it as a career. And for me, in order to have a longer career and be a professional um, real estate agent, I think having a designation is extremely important. You know, um, for example, this one, the short sale, the MRP, the ALHS. Uh, the next one I also want to get is SRS, which is Seller uh, Representative Specialist, which entails for, for listings. So for me, the three main reasons why I'm getting designations and why I will continue to get designations is, I think number one is the, the, the more uh, qualified I am when it comes to a short sale or a luxury listing or representing a military a VA buyer, uh, the more I, I know about it, the better I can serve you guys, the clients. Uh, number two is whenever the market does shift, whether it's a seller's market or a buyer's market, uh, again, I will be more prepared for that. And number three is obviously serving you guys, which is my clients. I think that's the number one most important thing. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, then uh, you know, I'm the guy that you go to for everything, right? For anything real estate related, I, I, I'm your guy. So I think they're, they're really important. So next time you, you run into a real estate agent and they give you their card, take a look. You, uh, you'll see, a, uh, if you see an acronym, ask them what they are, uh, ask them what that stands for. And uh, it would be a, a good topic of conversation. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching another Sell with Manuel vlog. Uh, and I, I, I honestly, I love doing these videos for you guys. I've said it before. Uh, so make sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Shots!